here we are. The YWC. I can get used to this. WC. It's official. We're here doing the review for YWC now instead of usual, just for a few hard men. Now we're doing it for the YWC. The YWC. We are finally here. Spent our time in the Indies, put in our dues. We didn't get here by fucking playing keyboard internet shit. No. Hashtag no. and shit. LOL. We got here by force. ASL. We just fucking came and demanded this shit. The magnificent Mexican Luchador Louie and the Super Cracker Style and Stewie are fucking here. And we're not going nowhere. We've arrived and we're about to make things just maybe a little bit more interesting. So Raw tonight, I don't know, it was decent. It was alright. It was alright. I don't know, a lot of good matches. What do we have first? We had Seth Rollins coming out. Yeah. Seth Rollins telling it how it is. The Come audience on. gave him a wicked pop, and boom, he turns heel. Awesome. I love that shit. Stay heel. Stay heel. Keep dissing the crowd. Do all that shit. I love it. Keep it coming. You know, they need a good heel. I'm so glad he didn't come back as a face. I'm so glad. He's so am I. Ba back to his old, his old self. I've been a Seth Rollins fan since he was Tyler Black. Longer Tyler than me. me. Longer but than me. I became a super huge Seth Rollins fan after I seen the ed end of our last video for that pay-per-view. Thanks to our good editing. Boom. That's right. Wicked right. clip. Backflip right over, you know. Seth Rollins off some flat off that guy. fat guy. Yeah. Damn. It was beautiful. This guy's good. How did I not see that match? You just told him to stay right there. The fat guy was like, yeah, I'll stay right there. Back and that is some good editing, folks. That is good editing. Damn. Yeah. I hope, uh, I hope that our editor gets paid a lot. He doesn't. He doesn't. What? Yeah, no. No, I pay him I pay him with uh, cheese squares and lunch meats. All right. Good cheese, though? Oh, yeah. I don't buy. Oh. I don't buy bad cheese. Okay, then. You know, all that cheering was embarrassing for Roman Reigns. All that yeah. cheering, they're cheering the guy that they hate. And that's something that Seth Rollins brought up. The fact that the crowd hated him. Nobody liked him. And now all of a sudden he's back to, save, to like save WWE because you know what what he said was right he was he was carrying the WWE on his back until his knee gave up. until his knee gave from up. the weight of the WWE it buckled man how about that suit though how about that suit for uh, that dry cleaning bill that wow uh, that's gonna be gonna, an expensive it's gonna bill. be expensive all that grease like, hold out some greasy hair I don't know if you saw that. He had to change. Wow. Uh, he had to change coats or jackets. He had to change jackets halfway through the show before the next promo. Yeah, yeah, because it was so. It was just, just greasy, pouring off there, baby oiled up, right? Oh, whatever it was. Gross. Shane O'Mac came out. I'm tired of this guy. Shane McMahon is your classic greasy fucking promoter, pulling man, the same kind of shit, man, he's putting himself over uh -huh. harder than his old man did, harder than Ian Rotten did. I was just in about to IWC. say that. Yeah. I was just about to say. I was just about to I'll say I'll just make myself win the King of the Dead. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Twice. No, no big It's deal. my promotion. Yeah, it's my promotion. I'm going to put myself well. over. And I'm going to brag about winning my own tournament and my own promotion in promos for CZW. Yep. I mean, yep. good matches, but what the shit? What are you doing? And now Shane McMahon, he's doing that. Just yeah. putting himself over. Oh, stay tuned after the show, because the show doesn't really matter, but the podcast about my fucking life does. Yeah. 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 After that, we had a uh, we had a promo with um, Sheamus. Shane needs to watch some promos of his old man Vince back in the day. Shane or not, like, definitely has to. You know, he's just some weak dude. I just feel like he's this weak. You know, hey, I'm the fun guy. I'm here for the fun guys. And then he said that I'm likable. You you have to defend your title now, Roman Reigns, at the next pay per view. Thanks, Shane. Thanks for the spoiler on every Raw. Now, every if he goes to defend that title. We know the outcome. It's like whenever you see a house show and they're like, we, the belt's going to be put up on the line. And you're like, well, 
three weeks from now, there's going to be a pay-per-view where he's going to have to, you know, put the belt up. So he's not going to lose the belt. I'm not a fucking moron. I've watched wrestling since I was a little Hulk mania. Exactly. He yeah, we had, we had a Sheamus promo where he was basically sick of the new era. I hear him, you know what I mean? But, I mean, you got to develop these guys. You know, stop putting them over so much, but you got you have to develop these guys. You just do. But he's sick and tired of it. He's saying the, ne the next match might not be suitable for all ages, and he was right. It wasn't suitable for adults. It was garbage. It was garbage it because we saw a tiny little ginger beat a gigantic fucking ginger. I was just going to ask you, what are your thoughts on those clotheslines of uh, Sami Zayn's Sammy clothesline lines? overpowering? What is Sheamus? up with all these tiny dudes clotheslining big guys? I thought, like, can we make this believable? Like, I know it's not real, but can we make it believable? I know, that'd be like Whitey. I know movies aren't real. Master, just clotheslining uh, the pussy master, pussy magnet. Oh, yeah, pussy right, magnet. yeah, I'm like, right, he could... Clothesline. Yeah, you're totally right. That was it's just, just if I saw sense, right, just like tonight's clothesline, match. the pussy magnet, aka the wrestling otaku, I would just be like, I would just give up on life. That wouldn't happen. No, it wouldn't. No. He's, he's the fastest rising channel in the YWC. That's right. The wrestling that's otaku might be the uh, not a bad bashing him. He might be the fastest rising channel. That's right. But few hard men are the most highly paid. Channel highly in paid, the YWC. and we are the hottest channel right now in the YWC. Highest paid, best looking. That's right. We are the highest paid, best looking guys in the world. Only Raw WC Review right now. rated 18A. So, uh, yeah, so disappointing match. Uh, Sami Zayn won. Yeah. Yeah. Seamus flipped out. Seamus flipped out. And, and then he went and attacked the uh, <laughs> whole Cruz. Cruz. Uh, fuck this guy. Just beat the shit out of God that guy. God damn it, Sami like, Zayn. I don't know how this guy's going to wrestle tonight. He's got a match later. Oh, man. He looked hurt. Holy shit, did Apollo Crews look hurt? You know, like, he ba fucking Sheamus bashed him up big time, so he's, I think he's fucking hurt bad, right? And he's got a match tonight? I don't know how he's going to do. Holy shit. And next we had, uh, Bootios and the Social Bootios and the Social Outcasts. Fucking hashtag. Who has a hashtag in your wrestling name? Hashtag Social Outcast? If you're the Social Outcast, you're what? not fucking hashtag. You no, know, that just means you're with the trends, you fucking retard. Like, that doesn't make any sense. No. They should be like, I don't know, just to be doing weird shit, like reading comic books in the corner or something. Yeah. I don't know, playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know playing Magic. League of Legends. You know, yeah, yeah Magic. Yeah. Watching Game of Thrones. Oh, Thrones. man. That's what they should do. Why don't they do that? They can be like the Game of Thrones guys. They can be LARPing. Yeah. They can be doing gay-ass fucking LARPing. They Running around, little, that would be a social outcast. They could be that little wiener from Lord of the Rings. They could be the little fucking hobbit wiener from the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Fucking Gollum. Yeah. Gollum. 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 Yep. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I don't know. One. Next we had Miz versus Cesaro. You know what, though? That was Just a good before, match. before that, before that, before Miz versus Cesaro, I wanted to bring one thing up. I want to bring up the fact that uh, the New Day... Hit Slater in the face with a cake, and then Michael Cole uh, sends out. Oh, that'll be trending. That'll be trending. Why did you have to bring that up? Hashtag. I was trying to forget you that. You can have your cake. Hashtag. I wanted to forget that. I'm sorry, dude. I fucking hate Michael Cole, and I I oh, don't I understand why he has a job. I, I don't, don't understand. I, yeah, Thanks. Michael Cole is such Thanks. a fucking tard. I had hated that guy since he fucking started, since I was a little, little fucking style and student. Yeah, when, when, uh, remember when The Rock would call him a transvestite? Yep. What happened to those days? Can we go back to the days when Michael Cole was called a transvestite? Hashtag, Michael Cole is a transvestite. You, you heard it here first. He's, he's a transvestite with Down syndrome. Anyways, as you were saying... Miz versus Cesaro, right? Yeah. 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 His wife sounds like uh, uh, how deaf people sound. Yes. You know? And, uh, 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 like, you know what? Get that young Helen Keller bitch out of here, bitch. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Fuck you, Anne Franks. I don't have a problem with deaf people. Just, just don't open your mouth on the mic. Who won that match? Cesaro. Cesaro won that match. It was a really good You're match, right. actually. Yeah, uh, right. Cesaro was really milking his shoulder. 
Uh, I thought something was up. I, I actually didn't know who was going to win because of the milk and the shoulder. It was a good match where it kept me guessing the whole way. You know way what? Through. And the belt wasn't on the line, so the Miz didn't mm-hmm. have to. He could just take the fall. Yeah. I could see him doing that. You know what? Fuck it. It's not worth it. Who cares? This ain't. This is just. This. I'm the Intercontinental Champion. To him, the IC belt is everything. To him, the IC belt is the belt. Uh, after that, we had uh, Jericho versus uh, Apollo Cruz. Apollo Cruz, yeah. Oh, man, I can't, Jericho comes out, then we're going to see Apollo Cruz come out. I imagine that he's going to be hurt. He because did, he just he, got jumped. He, he just, just got, got the jumped. out of him by Shaman. By, ju- by Giant Ginger. And Giant Ginger's in the back watching him. He's yeah. He's him to limp because, yeah, I fucked that guy up. I fucked that guy up. I'm watching this shit. And what does fucking Apollo Cruz do? He dances around the ring. Forgot. He totally forgot that he was injured like, because he got beat up before the fucking match. It's called selling it. He's a rookie. Like, br- put him back to NXT. Br- put him back, back to OBW, man. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was Cruz wasn't he selling was, anything, man. And he's watching. Anything. He was botching everything. The lion salt that Chris Jericho did. Oh, what and a Paul Cruz was trying. To, yeah, fucking so bad. Jericho's like trying so hard to make him look good. Make him look good. Exactly. Like Jericho had his work cut out for him tonight to make oh, this match. Oh, man, terrible. did he ever. It turned out good. But thank God Jericho Chris Jericho won. Yeah, just Chris Jericho won. And then the next promo was hilarious because oh, we had Bob, uh, Backlund. Bob Backlund making Darren Young great again. I love this. I love this. And anybody who doesn't love this, I don't understand why you don't love this because it's hilarious. And Bob Backlund does the shit. I'm getting into Bob. I, I've always liked Bob Backlund, but I really oh, like him now. Oh, Oh, and I love this man. this character. He's a life coach. Yeah, he's a he is a life coach. He's a life coach like uh, Chris Peters off the Entrepreneur Power Hour and Chris Peters Beer Review. You guys yeah. might want to check him out. You guys might you know? want to check out the Chris Peters channel. We actually had him on our show interviewing us. He is a life coach, by the way. If anybody didn't know about this, so if anybody's like looking Bob Backlund. for some life coaching, like Bob Backlund, maybe who knows? Yeah, and if you can't afford Bob Backlund. This Chris guy, Peters. Just as qualified, just as a qual- little more reasonable rates. You get a discount if you have a slip nut shirt. Only 10%, though. The guy's got to make a living. He's got to make a living. Make nothing, a living. Ro- nothing wrong with that. No, we all nothing wrong. Make- He's an entrepreneur, man. We all, got, we all got to make a living. Exactly. But anyway, yeah, then uh, Baron Corbin came out, and I was like, He's wearing the toque? Oh, that stupid fucking hat, too. Or the winter hat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, but is it winter out here? Right yeah, now? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure, you know, pretty sure you're just trying to hide your balding there, Baron Corbin. Yeah. Yeah. Just shave it off. And, just uh, shave it off. Or wear a hat. Kurt Angle shaved it off. Yeah. Or, well, Hulk Hogan wore a bandana. That didn't look stupid. Not at but all. guess what? That juke looks stupid. Looks dumb. You look like a, I just came here. I didn't watch wrestling. I just came here to kick ass. Please take me seriously as a tough guy. I just like, look like a big fucking faggot hippie. Yeah, he does. A fucking Barry hippie. Corman, you look like you want to bitch about animal rights. He looks like he's on a like, crack binge, and he, yeah, and he wants to bitch about animal rights. And then the sit in a drum circle. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, yeah, do you even know how to wrestle? No. No. Like, do you even know what an arm bar is? No. Probably no, not. He no. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't know how to wrestle, bro. And I couldn't care less about this guy. I could not either. I don't even know why he's on the show. You know what? What the, does he do? The next part pissed me off more, though. After that shit. When Enzo and uh, Kaz came out? Uh-huh. Dressed in that gay disco club wear? Yeah. Right down to the leopard print and the exposed nipples. Man, I thought that Enzo was going to come behind Kaz and rub his nipples. That's... Yeah. It was pretty borderline. Like... I thought I was in a gay discotheque. It was disgusting. It was hardcore. When I was watching Enzo run around the fucking entrance like a goddamn retard, like I was Eugene. praying. I was like, Eugene, I was praying, please trip. Please trip. And can you please get another concussion or something? Because fuck, man, I hate you. Mm-hmm. You're so annoying. You're lame. You have nothing new to say. You have nothing new to bring to the table. You suck at wrestling. You're not charismatic. You you say the same thing over again and over again. It's nothing new. Just why are these guys being pushed so hard? I don't know. I was happy for the update. I was going on. Uh, Enzo did come. After he said the same shit he says every fucking week, he gave us an update. And the doctor said uh, they made a diagnosis. And they diagnosed him as being a uh, complete fucking pussy. 
and they prescribed him a can of man the fuck up and get back in the goddamn ring. Fucking big, big ass. ass fucking Kaz. Let Baba fucking put him over. Yeah, exactly. For the 15th time. I don't understand. How it. are the Dudley boys jobbing? I don't understand. They must be getting paid lots of money to fucking job all, every I week. I hope so. Why is Kaz not jobbing? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, they Michael Cole the called a, a figure eight, the uh, figure four, going back to the recap. Oh, that pissed me off. You know that, you know that pissed uh, me off. Night, um, Charlotte with her figure four. It's a goddamn figure eight, you goddamn moron. Like, why do you get paid? Is this your first day, Michael Cole? Why do you get paid, you goddamn transvestite with Down syndrome? In Michael Cole. Why do you get paid? You suck. Get rid of him. Put Kevin Owens in. Put. I, I, you know what? I love Kevin Owens. Uh, his wrestling, his everything about him. I don't care though. You know, if if we need to, just get rid of Michael Cole. Put Kevin Owens in as the main of fucking announcer, please. Please. Definitely. I'm so tired of this Michael Cole. I just why like why is he there? Put him on SmackDown. That's where he belongs. No, he doesn't even belong in SmackDown. He belongs, oh, no. he belongs like in the background. You know, fucking. You know, tearing down the ring after the event. <laughs> he should be. He should be a roadie. Michael Cole yeah, should be a Michael roadie. Michael Cole should be a roadie. For I don't sure. understand why he's gotten as far as he's gotten. And Michael Cole's fat fucking whore mom should have fucking told him never to talk with fucking your mouth full of shit. <laughs> Obviously, she didn't. No, no, of course not. When you have a whore mom, she doesn't teach you values. No, she doesn't. No. Michael Cole had a whore mom. She uh, did have a medical condition called obesity, though. <laughs> <laughs> medical condition. So Charlotte doesn't need her dad anymore. I, I was watching, I was getting so much food. I, I hated Charlotte. Yeah. Like for a split second, I didn't want to cheer. I was mad. I was mad, too. I was like, how dare you say those things to your dad brought you to where you are today. You give him some goddamn respect. Like, I felt like I was a little kid watching Million Dollar Man come out. Dude, I like you Million know, Dollar Man. You know, taking shit away from little kids. He had money, to be there. Money, I just like Money, it. money, money. And Virgil, his little slave. Everybody's got a price. <laughs> you know, he paid him a hundred bucks. You know, like, it was a big deal. Oh, Could was... you imagine if you got paid a hundred bucks nowadays? Yeah. You'd be the necro butcher. <laughs> <laughs> or Madman Pondo. Or Madman Pondo, you betcha. But yeah, like, uh, Charlotte did an absolutely amazing job. Like, I um, honestly didn't even know whether to boo her. Charlotte is the WWE champion right now. Yes. The WWE champion. She has showmanship. She has class. She's got talent. She has it. Everything Roman Reigns doesn't have, by the way. He took the words right out of my mouth. Up next, we had Dolph Ziggler and Dean Ambrose. What a predictable piece of fucking shit that match was. Who do you think won that one? Oh, who was going to job here? Yeah. Give me oh. a fuck. Oh, Ziggler for the fucking 20 millionth fucking time. Stop selling so fucking good, Ziggler. Yeah. Like, stop it. You're making way too good of a job looking like a goddamn rag doll in there. Cut that shit out. Man, nobody has... Nobody has any hunger anymore. Everybody's just doing what they're supposed to be doing. They just have jobs now. That's They're all yep. jobbers. They're all jobbers. Except for fucking Chris Jericho and Charlotte Flair. Yep. And they Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins. And Seth. And Kevin Owens, who I wish would go on commentary. I do too. They, I've been saying that for a long time. I'm glad that Lucci's getting on the bandwagon. Lucci is finally on the bandwagon, buddy. See you later, Michael Cole. Get the fuck out of there, Michael Cole. AJ was fighting with his friends. AJ was fighting with his buddies. You it, was, know. it was kind of like a little high school cheerleader quarrel. Like, uh, like we're done, guys. We're, we're done. We're I'm no done. longer friends. Does anybody notice this? But AJ Styles looks like a girl with a beard. He looks like an yes, ugly fucking girl with a beard. Like, he has that fucking chubby little, like... I would have fucking... A chubby, estrogen-little-filled fucking... 
toss him in a fucking dumpster or something. <laughs> His character out of the dumpster, too. Anyway, the ring steps finally got their uh, revenge on AJ Styles. They and did. Been, he, if you've noticed, he hasn't been assaulting them when he's been coming to the ring. No, no. But they didn't forget. They didn't. Kevin Owens went for a powerball. Boom, ring steps interfered. AJ Styles got his comeuppance. Yep. I think the feud's over now. You betcha. I think the ring steps came out on top. Just, Dude, just like you predicted on our first episode. I've been predicting a lot. Mm -hmm. Except for that Extreme Rules shit. I got a lot of that shit wrong. Yeah, I got a lot of that shit wrong. Yeah, too. that was that was an atrocity, though, and a half. That was just yeah, a bad show. Yeah, fucking retarded. Yeah. I felt like I was watching TNA. Oh my! It was almost it was almost worse than TNA. I think it felt worse than TNA to me. Uh, but uh, TNA is really easy to pick on. Yeah. Um, I heard I heard one guy chanting AJ Styles. Who is this fag? Good luck getting that chant started. Back out of the mid card for you, AJ Styles. You had your run at the top. Good for you. Now you're going to be competing for the United States Championship. I applaud you. Hopefully you uh, go for it and lose and we don't have to see you again, and, uh, yeah. I am the master of the clit. Remember this fucking face. Wherever you see clit, you'll see this fucking face. I make that shit work. No one rules a clit like me. Not this little fuck. None of you little fucks out there. I am the clit commander. When it comes down to business, this is what I do.